Minister, just in just following on with uh, consultation with groups, uh, we were all present at Gama and uh, incredibly warmly welcomed by the Yolngu people on their country, and with some remarkable uh, comments by uh, Dr. Galaroy Yunapingu. Have you spoken to Dr. Yunapingu? Uh, not on this matter, no. Has the Prime Minister rang I'm not the people aware. of? I've, 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 I'd Arnhem have to Lane? check. I'm, I'm not aware. I'd have to check. I have spoken to Dr. Yunapingu, but not on this matter, no. It was an incredibly culturally significant ceremony that took place on the Gama site, with high expectations on all of us as parliamentarians in carrying this forward. Don't you think it's disrespectful not to have at least spoken to them? No, not at all, Senator. And I, I don't appreciate your characterisation of me being disrespectful uh, to either the Yon or the Mole. They Prime gave Minister. us the fire words, and those fire words were about honesty and light. And I think you can characterise our response in that way. We have been absolutely honest about what we think uh, the likelihood of success in a referendum that one element of the uh, recommendations from the Referendum Council put forward. What about and we the have Prime recommended, Minister? We have recommended. Uh, and for absolute clarity, uh, in that the draft, the draft terms of reference don't in any way prohibit uh, uh, the, the Joint Select Committee from considering all matters, including a constitutionally entrenched body. But we have said, as a government, it's our judgment that the, the Australian people uh, will reject it, and that will have a huge amount of damage to our journey of uh, reconciliation. So, no, I don't think that's been disrospectful at all, Senator. And as you know, Prime I Minister, take those Minister, matters very seriously. Has the Prime Minister spoken to the Yolngu? He spoke in language uh, to the Yolngu people. Yeah. Did he not pick up the phone to talk to them directly about this decision? Well, I don't know, Senator. That's a matter for the Prime Minister. And Could that, you find that question. out? I, look, I'm sorry, Senator. I have no knowledge about whether or not the Prime Minister rang anybody or not. Uh, but can I say, uh, whilst it was widely discussed, um, you know, judgments have to be made at a particular time. There's no disagreement there, Minister. It's about respect. This whole process has also been about uh, the importance of mm. respect and cultural respect. Mm -hmm. uh, the committee just wants to understand whether mm -hmm. that was followed through with uh, the Yolngu people on whose land such sacred ceremony took place. I'm not Senator. pretending that it's easy. No, I, I appreciate that. But I that, do. Senator. What I am pointing out is that the bipartisanship or the cross party position yes. has got to be a unified position. Has to be. And then you can win the victory. Now, there's not even the, uh, there's no indication that we can go through a, a, a parliamentary process here, come to the end, and, and you're sitting on the hill as a general and saying, hey, you blokes go back to war because we're not satisfied with the victory you've just delivered. So, you know, you've got to come part of the way to resolving this, otherwise it's not going to get resolved. And you can't pretend to be honest when you're sitting there, you know, on that basis, that you're going to allow a discussion to go on and we'll come back with the same result. It's not fair. Well, we've, we've